Hi there, this is Max with Upree.io. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, and also answer one of the most common questions that we get, which is how do you connect your app to, uh, to a backend or to backend services uh, or also to external uh, REST API. So that's what I'm going to cover today. So I already have a, um, an app that I created, but I'm going to come back to this uh, in just a few minutes. But first, Let's look at the backend services that Opry.io provides. I'm going to switch to this tab, right? And there are three main components. So uh, there is a um, uh, there is a database, uh, server code, and API Express. So right now you're looking at the database, and it's a cloud database for storing app data. And uh, I have a, a database with one collection, and I'm storing some products. There is a name and an inventory. So again, this is a cloud database that you get as part of the platform. Now, let's move to server code, and I'm gonna to go to this tab here. So server code is very powerful because it allows you to write any custom logic uh, on the server using JavaScript. And it also integrates with the database and with push notifications. So for example, in this particular script, I am querying the database. Uh, so this is my query, uh, and then this is the actual query. Um, and basically what I'm doing is that I'm looking in the database and if any inventory is below 50, I'm going to send a push notification message, right? So you see how this integration uh, works here. Again, the goal of this video is not really to cover you know, necessarily the details of the server code script, but really show you how to connect your, the backend with the app. Um, another script that I have here is, uh, and actually I can quickly show you uh, how this works, All right? So we can see, so green tea is the only one that's inventory below 50, I think, yes, green tea, so. Uh, another script that we have is just a product script, which basically simply queries the database, just retrieves a list. Let's quickly run this, All right? And this, here we go. So this is server code. Now let's go to API Express. So API Express allows you to connect to external data sources and expose them via REST APIs such as, for example, a relational database, uh, a SOAP service, or you can also connect to a third-party REST API. So I already created uh, uh, one service or one API Express project, which has one service. Let's open it. All right, so you can see this is the service. I'm invoking a REST service, and it's connecting to an external REST API. And I can also test it quickly. test and here we go so we get a list of employees uh, in this case so again we got the database we got the server code for custom app logic and then we got API Express for uh, integrations with other systems so those three components uh, that's um, that's your backend services in Apri.io and also again just to mention connecting to external REST APIs can be done via server code or uh, API Express Okay, and just also again, um, just quickly to go back to API Express, there are some other components that you can use. So you can build a pretty sophisticated flow here. There's a SQL component, as I mentioned, for accessing relational database and SOAP and other components here. But the question is, how do you now get this, get these services into an app? So to go back to the app builder and to import uh, because we already basically have an existing backend, we got a database, server code, and API Express. We can very easily import the services into this app. And to do that, you do go to Create New, and then you can see under Backend Services, you have all these options. So let's go with Database Service first, all right? And right here, we can select uh, what service we would like to import. So for example, we can do List, and click Import. And then the service is immediately imported, and we got the service, and you can always go to test, click test, and here we go, we get the information from the database. So this is how you import a database service. Uh, same way, if we have a server code service, let's do that. So we actually, do, so let's go with the, let's do check inventory first. All right, then we can also go to test, Right, and we can see we get green tea, and then of course your push notification message uh, was also sent with this information. Let's get the other one quickly. 
we have got product and here we go so this is again just just returns um, all the information from the database now if you're wondering what is the difference between the database service and this one which basically does the same thing so in general our recommendation is unless your app is very very simple where you simply get a list of items from a database and probably not going to do anything with it then you can access the database directly but in most applications you're going to access the database you're going to query the database you're going to do something with the data like in my example sending a push and in this case we recommend to use server code because that gives you a lot more flexibility uh, again you can keep the app logic on the server uh, you know searching uh, you know modifying editing data all on the server and then simply uh, return the response to the client so again for anything beyond just displaying a simple list we recommend to use server code now let's go to API Express and again it's very very similar All right so and here we go and let's go to test and here we go All right so we can test again and it's just a it's a random list so we get different uh, values here All right so you can see uh, how to import those services again and again regardless whether it's the database server code or API Express this is how you import and test them inside the app builder right so this is your app uh, or the client side of your entire application um, so that's it for this uh, video I hope it was helpful now in the next video I'm actually going to show you how you would use these services on the page right um, and again, I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.